Hi, I'm Garrett Town with AM Solar, and today is the final day of the Epic Airstream project. We'll be going over all the final details, showing you where we put everything and how it all looks. We're about half an hour away from the customer coming to pick this rig up, so we're doing some final tune-ups. Sean is here working on the Victron CCGX monitor, getting it programmed. It also has a digital multi-control and a display for the BMB 712 all in one easily accessible area. Alvin and James are back here doing some final touches installing a DIN rail breaker. The ZAMP folding panels are all stacked up, all 10 of them, 230 watts. They've been modified to work in series with the Victron 100 amp charge controller. Here's the port, it's just one port, very incognito, all 10 panels right to that. Alden is working to secure some of the wire harness. So up on the roof, all the panels are secure, they're connected in three parallel strings of three in series, all to a combiner box and then down into the rig. So I don't know if you can see, but I had wires kind of going across and I was afraid that something will snag on it. So I made this so that nothing gets snacks on it. Good move. It's a yeah. attention to detail. So James is on the roof doing a final quality check on all the T-knobs, making sure everything's tight so nothing rattles loose while this is driving down the road. All the panels are perfectly secure now. Dustin, tell us what happened in here. So in here, we disconnected his old converter and we added a bunch of double circuits because he only had singles in here and we, he wanted a bunch of extra outlets. So we relabeled everything and we added a, a whole bunch of double breakers so he could have more circuits in the same amount of space. Perfect. So one of the things Dustin's doing right now is he's taking pictures of every connection. We do this on all of our jobs and we put them in a folder and we have everything filed back for beyond 10 years. The reason we do this is if there's any tech support issues or anything goes bad, we can figure out exactly what it is and we can explain it to the customers in detail about how it should get fixed. And we know whose fault it is if something goes wrong. All right, I'm back here with the heart of the system underneath the bed. Uh, we'll start with the batteries. We have six 300 amp hour Victron Smart Lithium batteries. Uh, they're connected in series pairs for 24 volt configuration and what we've done here is we've color coordinated uh, the batteries so a yellow and that yellow means that these two are series connected then we have green and green these two are series R white and white those are in series then they get combined in parallel and individually grouped fused in the Lynx distributor from the Lynx distributor we go to a master on off switch where you can turn off everything completely disconnect your lithium batteries from the, the any loads or charging sources then we have it go to uh, a class t fuse then to the inverter master disconnect where it goes to uh, the 24 volt 5000 volt amp victron quattro inverter and uh, 120 amp charging capability. We're still doing some final connections on this inverter system. Um, the inverter, well, the batteries communicate and report their status like voltage and temperature via these M8 cables that you see tucked away down here. These are all, all the batteries are daisy chained together with the M8 cables and they talk to this part which is the VE bus BMS. From the VE bus BMS there's two signals a load disconnect and a charge disconnect that go to the AM solar proprietary V4.3 board. So our V4.3 board is a system that we developed to use specifically with Victron lithium systems. It's not completely necessary, but it does make installation and troubleshooting a lot easier. It works as like a central brain to process uh, the signals from the VE bus BMS, which is load disconnect and charge disconnect. And it also has a temperature sensor cable that goes down and connects right here on the uh, negative terminal of one of the lithium batteries. 
and that's used to prevent you from putting a charge on the batteries when the batteries are below freezing. And the other thing that this board does is it controls DC input, solar input, and the inverter charge and make sure that no charge is being put on totally full batteries or frozen batteries and that no discharge can come from batteries that are completely discharged or too hot. Coming in from the portable panels, we have the port that's located on that far side. They come in underneath the rig, go to this uh, breaker box with DC breakers then that goes to this charge controller. Since all the panels could be in series, we got the charge controller that's rated for 250 volts array input. And with 10 230-watt panels on a 24-volt battery bank, we can use the 100-amp charge controller. So the output of this charge controller goes to this breaker, and then it goes to... Um, to the battery bank and this charge controller is controlled by the V4.3 board via the remote port and there's a set of 18-2 cables that basically give it an on or an off signal like if the batteries are frozen it'll be off which means don't you're, it's not allowed to send charging current to the batteries. So this charge controller works for the roof mount array. On the roof we have seven 98 watt panels and two 90 watt panels connected in three parallel groups of three in series. The output of this charge controller goes to this breaker and then onto the battery bank. And this charge controller, like the other one, is controlled by the V4 board to prevent frozen charging or prevent current from being fed onto a battery that's 100% fully charged. This device, the Orion Converter, is designed to supply 12 volt loads from a 24 volt battery bank. The output of this converter goes to this breaker called house and you can turn on or off your DC loads with that breaker. So coming out of the negative connection on the Lynx distributor we go to a shunt which measures all the current coming to or from the batteries and it sends that signal to a brain that we have mounted. It's called the BMV712 battery monitor and that gives you a percentage of charge uh, status, um, total amp hours remaining, pretty much everything you'd ever want to know about your battery status. Uh, the data is gathered through this and a temperature sensor right here. This Airstream project is one of the most elaborate Airstreams we've ever worked on and we hope to do a lot more.